I never thought about what would come next. When I was at school um, in Cheshire, I didn't have my eye on doing A-levels. When I was doing A-levels, I wasn't thinking about going to university. When I was at university, I wasn't thinking about what was to come next. When I was doing my master's degree, I wasn't thinking about what would come next. I continued into a PhD, like accidentally almost. Um, and when I was doing my PhD, I certainly had no sense of what would come after that. I, um, I knew I liked university environments, but I hadn't thought about becoming a professor. I, I, I think it's really hard as a student to think about yourself on the other side of the table. And um, really through people encouraging me and saying, why don't you think about it, that I thought about it. Um, and, uh, you know, I was very fortunate with timing. My PhD thesis was one of the first written on what we think about today is this field between computer science and economics, one. And two, at the time, uh, computer science was exploding. This was 2000, 2001. Computer science departments were hiring, and I was able to get a position. I do think about what my path means in the context of our undergraduate students today, um, and have lots of conversations with advisees where they want to have everything planned out. They're 19 years old and they want to know what's going to happen next year. They want to know what's going to happen the year after that. And then they have their eye on what happens after college. And I'm always really happy to have that conversation, but I want them to know that there will be all kinds of surprises, unexpected twists, opportunities, opportunities you hadn't seen coming. And that um, it's good to have a plan, but it's good to be ready to pivot and to find your passion.